I think I have three questions. All three questions were directed to me. First, uh, how do I ascertain the source of my raw material? Um, unfortunately for me, most of my raw material is raw milk, which is susceptible to bacterial attack at any given time. So I cannot afford to not to make sure that the, the raw material coming into my production is qualitative. You know, one thing to to take care of that is first I have the source of my raw materials are two folds. One from my own cows, which I have control directly how the cows are milked and the hygienic process that I have control over. And I have a laboratory which is modern laboratory that of that can obtain all over anywhere in the world with a biochemist as a quality control manager. So we have all the equipments you can think of. In fact, I have a scanner. If you take my own milk, you put it in the tube, you put it on the scanner, it's not only for you to see, but it prints out the composition of that milk, about 10. It can even tell you the fat content, it can tell you everything. This is a scanner, it's a modern equipment. Apart from the microscope, from the organolytic test, from the gun, from the lactometer, all this equipment we have. So we've taken care of this by the raw material. Then another, the challenge I face is because I collect most of my milk from Fulani uh, men, which you have to make sure that the hygienic condition of the milking is guaranteed. So I have a person that is in my employment that goes round the Fulani husband because I go early in the morning to the Ruga gates to evacuate the milk and bring it to the factory. So what this guy does is they go around with their equipment. So the full line is go right there and then because you have a gun test, which immediately you take. I wish I had my clip here, I will have shown you how it is done. You just dip it, you put it in the test tube. If it precipitates, it's bad. If it's clean and it's not precipitated, it's good. It draws, your money is paid, it's good. It comes to the factory for processing. And another thing is, you have to be, um, sure that the products you have undergoes the same test because milk unfortunately for us you can't do magu magu with fresh milk immediately it is adulterated to show in two days like my fresh milk is only seven days it has only seven days shelf life and what you will ask me is not even the one how do you get L and Z fresh milk that has five days shelf life in Ibadan in Inugu and in Lagos this, this is one of the and with very poor cold, cold chain infrastructure. So what we do, we have a contractual agreement. How we take it there, and it gets there in less than an hour. That is our trade secret. <laughs> <laughs> but but it gets it gets to Lagos, and it gets, because it has a five it has a five days shelf life, it must be on shop right and. Um, we are the sole suppliers of fresh milk to ShopRite all over the country. In fact, because of us, ShopRite don't import fresh milk anymore. They were importing from South Africa and, and other countries. But when I told them I have the capacity and I will do it, they couldn't believe. But now I think they are okay. And thank God, ShopRite will be coming to Kano in November. And we're going to celebrate their coming. We'll be seeing more of our products in there. This is the... Then I think the last question from the... Have I answered your question? Okay, the last question from the gentleman. It, as I told you, my business has a very long gestation period. So a business that has a very long gestation period, it tries your patience. And another thing it does to you, it gives you opportunity to build up your capital over time. So it's not something that, and I think it applies to a lot of businesses. Unless if you want to go into pure water, which has a short gestation, but it also has a short business cycle, you, you will rush in, you rush out. But any business that will stay long and it has a longer institution period, it gives you opportunity. After all, I told you I have worked at least for some companies for some time as a banker, so I had a lot of savings. And I have an issue, when I was I started working, I knew ultimately my focus is I wanted to be on my own. I, I, I had set a target that after 13 years, 
I will be in this position. After 13 years, I will be in this position. And I walked towards it. And thank God, I was never disappointed. And at the time I was to leave, when the upload was at its highest, I left. At that time, a lot of people wouldn't have dared leaving. I was just promoted to area manager. I had a chauffeur driven very well. I have a good house in Gary. And I was going in. I said I wanted to quit to go into agri. It's a very, very difficult thing for somebody. But I had planned it much earlier. So I knew what I was doing. So if you plan, the planning is the most important thing. And then you do good, you do good service and you start small. I started with five cows, not as big as. And the equipment we are using now to equipment, thank God and thank Diamond Bank. Diamond Bank financed it fully. Before Diamond financed the ultra modern equipment we are using, which is the standard of obtainable all over the world, we are using our own local way. And if you go to incubation center at Farm Center, there is one, um, what is his name? Kamilu. Go and visit Kamilu. He fabricated everything when we started. Uh -huh. So we started small. And even that Kamilu, we couldn't afford his, the entire system. We will do one, then we will start. And when the business improves, then we will ask him, we will come. And then that is how we started until we find ourselves in this area. So this is a 15 year hard work. It's not a 15 days hard work. So if you want to start, at worst case scenario, you must spend five years. Have I answered your question? Yes, thank you, sir. I can carry you Please carry you very good. You see, that one is not good to lie. So, <laughs> I didn't even know he's around. Camilo has been part of us. In fact, even now, the ultra modern equipment we have, sometimes I will just shout, Camilo, where are you sitting there? I say, I want to see him, my family. And thank God he has been obliging me. In the next three hours, he will be there. I will still go and see it. He has never seen it, but he will look at it, come out, go back, and he will do a little design, do a modification, and will adopt it. So, this is just it.